Hello everybody and welcome back to the Grinning Dragon. This is Christopher and today I'm going to show you uh, what we got for Warhammer Plus uh, this for this previous Wednesday, uh, September 1st. Uh, first new month and, uh, you know, new more Warhammer. So let's see. So you got Curse of the Wolfen in the Warhammer Vault along with the White Dwarf magazines from January, February, and March. All right, so it's slowly... Again, a little slow release on here, but they're putting more and more lore out there, of course, with The Curse of the Wolfen. Uh, if you haven't read any Gathering Storms, go ahead and check them out. Um, again, I, I don't feel like these are really kind of worth it. Um, That's just my opinion. If you do like the White Dwarves, though, this is uh, kind of a nice place to go see previous issues. See if you want to go ahead and subscribe to that. Otherwise, if not, then, you know, it's part of the Warhammer Vault now. So whenever a new edition comes out, um, I think they'll make you wait a little bit before they post them up here. Okay, so let's go on to the main bread and butter here, the Warhammer TV, okay? So Warhammer TV, we got three new things on here. You got Angels of Death, Silent City. We got the... New Warhammer Battle Report, Blood Angels versus Orcs. And then you got the Masterclass in Black Armor, which makes it a little bit more interesting uh, because the armor, of course, you know, isn't just black. It's There's also other tones to it. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, to it here. All right, so I'm not going to play the video for you guys. Sorry, not sorry. But anyway... The, we'll start with the Masterclass. The Black Armor used uh, for this one. She's doing like a Black Templar Space Marine. So, it's, Luis is uh, really good at teaching. Uh, very excellent. Uh, explains why you got to paint it black again. And then goes over like the little details around the armor, such as like this right here. Um, the rim parts. How to highlight those bits there. And... Um, you know, get some gradations um, so that the armor isn't just flat black. Gives it a little bit more dynamicism to it. And, you know, people tend to get a better value out of their model and feel a lot better once they get this a little bit primed. Because heck, when I was younger, I would um, paint some Chaos Space Marines, of course, for the Black Crusade and uh just painting them black all the time with some gold it, it looked kind of dull so this kind of next makes it take a step up there adding a little bit more to just the plain black armor okay a uh, very helpful video um but definitely uh definitely take a good look at that if you have warmer plus i mean there's other videos on youtube that do this here but this one here is using just citadel colors in general and uh, is just using a brush. She does not use any uh, airbrushes in this video at all. So if you're like me, you like doing it by hand and you don't have an airbrush, this probably be more up your alley. Most of the people on YouTube I've seen mainly use an airbrush and then hit the details again with just a brush. So definitely worth checking out. I do love uh, Luis's uh, master classes. I find them extremely helpful and um, I think they're one of the main reasons uh, to get Warhammer TV if you don't already have one. Okay, let's move on here. I'm making our way over to Battle Reports. Um, the Battle Report, this one here is the Blood Angels versus Orcs. They actually go ahead and have Patrick and Luis, actually. Uh, Patrick goes ahead, and I believe he was in the last one. Um, but Luis plays the Orcs, and Patrick plays the Blood Angels. So... If you're looking for like kind of a really high end battle report, I mean these are where to go. Um it's a thousand points actually. Um they played a tournament based style game, I believe it was called Revenge of the Machine Spirit, where for the deployment. Um she uh Louise actually used some uh converted Age of Sigmar Savage Orcs because she was running snake bites, and it really fit the theme, I thought. Um it's a really quick game, only 30 minutes. Uh, they both chose engage on all fronts and um, essentially ran a, a, like a, a two-objective scenario. 
uh, running that tournament style game. Okay. Um, of course, graphics are high end there too. And I've noticed a lot of things like they would speed up, uh, when people were like moving models, like Louise and Pat were moving models together, they would speed up those times there. Um, they were skipping and summarizing some events that were happening on the table. I know some people in battle reports have been doing that lately. Um, but definitely this isn't like a banter bat rep. Um, and you could tell like they were kind of at some points, uh, were kind of scripted to say some things. Um, but when they had like their own general reactions, I felt that was really well done. Like, you know, because they're generally reacting to like a dice roll, um, 28 hits to like a bunch of orc boys is a little rough and you know, it, you know, you can't control the dice rolls. Um, but you know, the, the ending was a little cringy, but definitely, um, definitely look a work, uh, Definitely something to look at um, compared to other battle reports. It was nice to see a thousand point battle report. I don't see a lot of those on YouTube. Most of the people that do them um, do like about 2000 points of uh, in a battle report um, that I've been seeing as of late. And they're going up to about one and a half hours to two, maybe even three hours long. Um, there's, some editing of course on their videos and um they usually keep the banter and that's perfectly fine um but usually i not too much into more of the banter bat reps um i'm kind of like wanting to watch like shorter bat reps um uh, uh for example like many more like wargaming girl for example uh was extremely uh, well done videos for battle reports on uh, War Machine and Hordes. Again, those battle reports um, usually don't take too, too long, but you know, still it was very well edited and um, I miss seeing her battle reports a lot. Um, I do like many more gaming's banter bat reps, however, because they seem to be fun. And um, But again, you know, there's, they started pushing it to more of like one, you know, one and a half hour battle reports and I just don't really have time to kind of sit down and just watch and listen. Uh, um, but that's just my cup of tea. If, if you guys like the longer battle reps, then good. Um, but really, uh, it was 34 minutes. Um, Orcs versus Blood Angels. A really quick battle, which is really cool to see. Um, definitely like their setups and whatnot. But all right, that's about it for the battle report. Let's move on to uh, the animation. So last week I was pretty critical about uh, Angels of Death here. So as their first animations, um, I felt like, you know, it was the, the animation style was cool as like a Sin City type of feel. Um, but this second episode had a lot more, had definitely had all the action. Um, I do feel like these episodes need to be longer uh, just because... We're getting maybe once a week, but they're like 15 minute shorts. Um, again, if I'm paying like uh, good money to get like this kind of app along with uh, Warhammer Vault, which is stuff that's been out there and, you know, just to read, um, you know, it's a little disappointing to see that I'm only getting like 15 minute like shorts uh, on the Warhammer Plus. Um so their animations, I feel, need to be longer, um, at least like 30 minutes, because 15 minutes is like an episode of Bluey from what my son likes to watch. OK, and that's I mean, it's fine as short snippets. It's really cool to like get this and have a sit down and watch it. But like this is really the quality on this one has increased quite a bit. Um I guess it's more because they went down and got into the nitty gritty of it. You got to see like the world, um, in which they're saving their captain at, uh, more interaction with the space Marines. And then, uh, actually some gene stealer cults have been, uh, kind of showed up, which is pretty cool. And you got to kind of see how they're almost kind of interacting with, uh, like some fleets there. Apparently they infiltrated, the fleets and um, they're trying to warn the people that are on um, the angels is um, main flagship. And uh, 
it it just it's just kind of cool to see like kind of two fronts one in the one in space and then one on the ground um it's it's i i like how i like the sin city feel definitely do with the black and white and then the red armor um all the space marines have this bright red armor bright red eyes of course because you're blood angels you know it's to be expected but that's the only color you see and it's pretty cool because um they kind of show they don't really tell you much about the um the rage that's in them you know um but one of the space brains gets hit and he like kind of goes his mind kind of goes elsewhere and then he does like a little like chant or prayer and he slowly stands back up and regains himself. I'm assuming that's what that is, but it's kind of cool to see it in that kind of perspective of the actual like blind angel, uh, to see what they see before they go into rage and how they uh, are able to maintain um, their kind of sanity, I guess in this case here. Um, but definitely an improvement for the episode one. Um, I did enjoy this one. Uh, I do like my action here and I'm gotten st- somewhat used to the way they talk i still do feel they still give me that kind of like a reboot kind of feel with like the human figures and how they talk and how their mouth moves uh you know it's it just see it just looks a little clunky to me in that case but regardless i mean um angels of the death it's 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 got a good start now on episode two here but episodes i feel need to be a little longer if they're going to release maybe once a week um and uh yeah so vastly vastly better than last week all right sadly that's it really for uh warhammer plus um yeah not too not too crazy of a release this past week i mean they are releasing every wednesday uh it's late in the day if you're in the u.s of course um but still you know still get your Warhammers, um, but yeah, I'm not really going to talk about the this stuff right here because this hasn't really changed. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would like to see more battle reports like Kill Team maybe, um, more Age of uh, Sigmar battle reports because I don't think they gave us one this week for Age of Sigmar. This is only 40k. Uh, yeah, just 40 K. So that's a little, that's a little downer. Uh, but you know, definitely think, you know, they're starting to get it. Um, but I was hoping another hammer and bolter was coming out this past week. Uh, I enjoyed that, but I want to see more of this. If they're going to go ahead and tell the community, um, ceases and assists with the animations, the need to bring it with these animations. I want to see more animations that are like their cinematic trailers because they go all out for the cinematic trailers, but they need to make the animations match the level and quality of these guys here. Now they're getting pretty, they got pretty close with angels of death here, but they need to really execute that uh, throughout. They can't just keep relying on hammer bolters, comic book kind of style where it's like it's a move, moving webcomic. Um, Citadel Masterclass, you know, Luis does a fantastic job. I'm absolutely enjoying those. These are extremely helpful, especially if you mainly use Citadel paints. Um, but, you know, you could always find, like, you know, the stuff that matches and the other things if you're, you know, um, going with, like, Army Painter or Game Color, for example. Um, the battle reports, again, they only did one for Warhammer 40k, which is fine by me, but definitely need to put some more emphasis, uh, another, they're probably going to do a war, a regular Warhammer Age of Sigmar battle report next week. Um, but I was feeling like they should do at least both of these. If they're going to do a 40k battle report and a Warhammer battle report, they need to show them at least every week. At least do one better report for Sigmar and 40K. Because, um, you know, just getting one better report, if you're going to do better reports, you know, that's that's that. But in, uh, in reality, I don't think they're going to be able to compete with a bunch of the YouTubers that have been doing better reports for a while. Um, they do have high quality battle reports, but 
reality sets in. The, everyone else has been doing better reports, way better. Uh, well, not way better, way longer. And a lot of these guys have improved on their uh, camera work and their editing. So their battle reports have been a lot better. And of course, you know, they know the rules and whatnot here. Okay. Same thing here. They know all the rules because, you know, they work for the company. So they got to make sure they get those right. Um, but tell me, guys, what do you all think of uh, of t- this week's Warhammer TV? That's it. I'm a little, uh, little underwhelmed, really, with the release this past uh, Wednesday. Uh, I, I was expecting a, at least two animations, um, but I only got one and one battle report and, you know, one Citadel Masterclass. But, hey, you know, I guess it is what it is. Um, I'm not sure how, how long this... Hopefully this Warhammer TV really kicks up on it in the coming up weeks because the slow release type of thing... It's not really like my thing. I had to do that with the Mandalorian and I still didn't like it. Um, Netflix usually releases the whole series all at once um, or at least season one of the series and then, you know, test the waters and see how that works. But definitely need to uh, step up their game with this Warhammer TV thing. Okay, but that's it. This is it for uh, my little update for Warhammer Plus on this Friday, September 3rd. Uh, tell me, guys, what you guys think about this. Um, I would still wait. It's still, like, in its infancy. So next Friday, I'll be posting another video just like this. Um, so stay tuned, guys. And don't forget to never stop smiling. I don't care.